Welcome to a tutorial on the Emini Python co-registration user interface. You might use this user interface if you have positions of sensors from a digitization device in the manufacturer coordinate space and you want to relate them to the MRI. This is the co-registration UI that shows after the code in the tutorial associated with this video is executed. The first step is to make sure that the FreeSurfer subjects directory is properly set. You can use this file browser to set it if it's not set. Then you can select the subject from the drop-down menu. Next, you should see that no fiducials are, are loaded. These fiducials are from the Tallyrack transform, which the FreeSurfer reconstruction estimated a linear transform from the individual space to the FreeSurfer FS average space. Someone has picked the fiducial coordinates in the FS average space, so those can be inverted with the Tallyrack transform, but those are just a first approximation, so we want to get a better approximation of where these fiducials are. So we'll click on the image. The auricular points are just anterior to the center of the tragus. So we'll click on those. We'll start with the LPA, go to the nasion, select that, and go to the right preauricular point. Once those are selected, we can lock the fiducials and save them. And now you'll see that they're saved in a standard location in the BEM folder. Now we can load our info path. So if I go to the ME sample data folder and select a fifth file with a digitization montage, I can load the positions of the sensors. The white position disks are extra head points, and the pink disks are EEG sensor locations. You can use the grow hair option to make the scalp bigger or the omit distance to omit sensors that positions that are outside a certain distance from the scalp. That will be useful later. We can also show the MEG helmet um, and change the head opacity as well as using a lower resolution head. Okay, now we are ready for scaling. This might be the case if you were using a template such as FS Average and you have the digitization coordinates because you don't have an MRI for the subject, but you do have their digitization. Then you can scale. You could scale with three axes so that you could scale each axis independently and match the size of the FS average head to the size of the participant in your study whose digitization points you have. In this case, we have the individual's digitization points, so the scale should match and do. So the next step is to fit the fiducials. So if we fit the fiducials, the fiducials from our montage will be matched to the fiducials uh, that we just selected earlier. Now we could choose to omit a point out here that was maybe accidentally selected. Looks good. The next step is we could fit uh, to minimize the distance between the scalp surface with this fit ICP option. Here we'll see that different iterations will minimize the distance between each of those disks and the scalp surface. Finally, we can adjust the positions manually if they are not satisfactory. This translates in X, the first column, and in Y, and the second column rotates. Here, if we rotate down a little bit, we can see that these more cl closely match the nose. And if we turn up the opacity, we can make sure that they are not inside the nose. And since the sensors are not inside the head when you digitize them, they should not be inside the head, although there is a little bit of an error from the reconstruction. Um, and so a few might be in the head. But in general, trying to make sure that the sensors are not in the head is ideal. Once you're satisfied with your transform, you can press save and save it to a location to use for things like visualization and source modeling. 